The new Syncplify Me server, version 4, is a leap forward versus all previous versions. All management is now done via secure web interface. To connect as super admin, type the address of your host followed by go. Type in your super admin password and click login. As super admin you have access to a special interface that allows you to create and manage virtual servers. For the purpose of this demo the default virtual server is already created. For each virtual server the super admin can define limits that cannot be overcome by the normal administrators. Specifically the super admin can limit the number and type of users that administrators are allowed to create, as well as the file system types and disk locations that admins are allowed to use. The super admin is also in charge of creating administrators. Administrators can have different roles, admin, view only and dashboard only. For every administrator the super admin can also define further limits, including automatic expiration and IP address restrictions. There's also a global whitelist the super admin can use to restrict the IP addresses from which he himself can access. And the super admin is the only user that can manage licenses and activations. Let's now connect to a virtual server as one of the administrators. The URL for that is go followed by dash and the name of the virtual server. As you connect as administrator you are sent to the main dashboard where you can see the status of each node belonging to the virtual server, its memory usage, an aggregated situation of the sessions, and a real-time chart. In the bottom part of the dashboard you can find aggregated statistical data that tell you what happened in the server since the first time you installed it and since the last time it was restarted. The blacklist is also all new, now managed by our proprietary protector technology, that can identify and prevent most types of attack. One of the most important new features is the Virtual File System, or VFS. It supports local disks, both plain and encrypted, as well as network locations and shared folders. And for each target the new VFS also supports soft and hard quotas, a highly requested feature. User profiles now support several ways to impersonate Windows and Active Directory users when accessing their VFSs. Impersonation can be done by handle, by Windows or AD username and password, or by SMB network share credentials. Virtual folders can now be nested, and each one of them can have its own impersonation. As usual, each user can have multiple keys for SSHPKI authentication. Speed limits and event handlers can also be defined on a user basis. And there is even more control regarding when and from where each user can access the server. There are now four preset security configurations, allowing Syncplify Me server to meet or even exceed PCI and HIPAA compliance requirements. And the protector technology's behavior can be configured to four different levels of sensitivity. There is now a safe list, which is a list of IP addresses that will never be blacklisted regardless of the client's behavior. And a whitelist which, in turn, is used to restrict access only to certain IP addresses and networks. Another significant improvement in version 4 is the ability to support multiple SSH server keys, even in different formats. Expert users will enjoy the possibility to define even more granular security settings, including the selection of specific key exchange algorithms. The FTPS protocol has now been greatly improved with the addition of flexible certificate management functions, both for self-signed as well as CAX509 certificates. Once again, expert users will enjoy the granularity of the advanced security settings. Another highly requested feature that was added in version 4 is the password complexity enforcement. Scripts are now stored in the database and can be edited online through a handy web-based syntax editor. Global event handlers can automatically run your scripts whenever certain events occur in the server. Multiple scripts for the same event will be run in order of priority. Speed limits can also be defined on a global basis, and can be different depending on the originating network.
As usual Syncplifyme server can use an external mail server to send out email notifications. And logs can either be stored as text files or sent to the corporate syslog server. There's also an opt-in opt-out choice that allows or disallows the server to send anonymous statistical data to Syncplify to improve the software in future releases. Thank you for watching, now please visit us at syncplify.me.